Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I'm getting ready to host the holiday pop-up that I'm doing here at the nursery tomorrow. I think we have 15 or 16 vendors. One is on the verge of giving birth, so it depends on whether or not she has the baby or not, my friend Amanda. Last night, Brad stopped over on his way home, turned on the propane, because it had been off, um, because I don't want it to accidentally turn on. But we turned on the propane, the heat is on in the greenhouses, it's warming up. Honestly, it hasn't kicked on in hours because it's sunny out. It's 40 degrees Fahrenheit today, which is really mild for us this time of year. The sunshine immediately, just the temperatures inside the greenhouse really shoot up. Tomorrow, it's gonna still be around 40 degrees. However, it is expected, the forecast is cloud cover. So it won't be really, you know, hot in there, thankfully, because you can't, you know, you can only control it so much when the heat goes up, in my older style greenhouses anyway. My new Rimmel greenhouse, however, when we turn that on, that on a really sunny day, that should be able to move air out really quickly. I'm looking forward to learning the differences between the efficiencies because I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, in my old Cornell style greenhouses with the, you know, the, the wood structure, there's no intake. There is the exhaust fan in the front, but there's nowhere that it's pulling air in from, from the outside. So there's really no circulation of air in there other than the same air being circulated over and over and over again. Anyway, that had nothing to do with this video. However, the heat is on in the greenhouses, the sun is shining, I am cleaning today. Cleaning and using some of those ingredients I showed you guys in a wreath unboxing video to decorate the wreaths that I have made. I have eight or nine wreaths made that just need to be decorated. So later in this video, we're gonna go ahead and use some of those ingredients to decorate those wreaths. But right now, I'm in the atrium and in the, on the platform area, right over here, we'll spin the camera around. So I don't know if you can see through the door. Let me open, oh, you guys are way over there. <laughs> Turn you this way. Okay, so right here, move this chair. I've been using the chairs to block it because when I'm open in the winter time here, I don't have the greenhouses open. We just fill the shop up with stuff. Move this because this is just hanging on a hanging basket hanger. So tomorrow these doors will be open, but you can see right now the platform. It's got a lot of my wreath making supplies, stuff that I haven't really been using. So I've got to clean this off. I've got a lot of cardboard that needs to be recycled. Uh, oh, I'll show you something. My team member, Miranda, stopped last night. She's coming again today, and she made a kissing ball. Let me go grab it. It's super cute. I've never made one before. She was showing me how to do it last night. These are really time consuming, and they take a lot of materials, guys. So when you go and you see your kissing balls for sale, maybe a little bit more expensive than you expect them to be, these take a lot more time. But for people who want to hang, and there's ribbon down there too, and this is a good size one too. She does a really nice job. I can't wait for, uh, she's coming back tonight and possibly making more of these, maybe one more. And then also we're making some center pieces. I'll show you. Aren't they cute? Not gonna make a lot of them, but just a few, because I think there will be some interest tomorrow. Uh, they're really nice, and this little plastic part on the bottom is A, reusable, and B, holds water to keep the pines fresh. I've never made these before. Baranda made this one. Baranda is my girl. Another thing I did special for this market, which I should be doing more of, is I brought in a lot of house plants. The house plants that people are looking for this time of year, whether it's a friendship plant or a money tree or a Christmas cactus, something small and giftable. That's what I wanted to bring in. And I'm looking at my order that arrived yesterday. Unfortunately, mistakes happen and it was six degrees yesterday morning, and the plants were exposed to some cold temperatures, so they did suffer some freeze damage, actually, like freeze damage. But the company that I ordered them from is making good on that. They're sending me new ones. They're arriving tonight, and then I should have a lot of beautiful house plants to offer for my shop tomorrow. I ordered um, the ones that didn't get any damage, though, um, the rubber trees. Let me show you. Um, the rubber trees actually didn't look bad. So it was things like pilea, spider plants, Christmas cactuses, coffee plants, jade afra trees. Ah, I think I'm looking at them right now. They're, they're down. I'll show you. Look at that spider plant. 
it's dead. It's actually getting like black spots all over it where it, it just froze. And when plants freeze, it damages their cellular bodies and there's no recovering. Um, yeah, they're turning black and they're dying, but that's what happened. It was an honest mistake. Uh, the delivery driver was supposed to put these on the heated porch of the uh, the house, my, my office, the house next door, and um, they were left outside only for half an hour. Half an hour and six degrees, that's what happens. Rubber plants didn't care. I honestly don't think it was the rubber plants didn't care. The rubber plants were um, on the on the side of the box with the most protection. So they were fortunate in their placement is what they were. Anyway, replacements are coming free of charge today for all of those plants that were damaged. So I should have those to offer. And then I also have, oh, bonsai tree grow kits. Those are cool. I have some of my koozies, my homemade greeting cards and calendars. I do have a couple dozen of those left if you get your orders in. I will get them out in the mail ASAP, Monday at the latest, because you never know with shipping. And then I have my new tumblers. Not new, but new because I just got a new batch in. But those tumblers always sell very quickly, and I love them, and they're made by a local company. Um, most of my merch is made by a local company. Not this, though. This is not merch. Somebody sent me this. T-shirts, hoodies, Andrea Lee Pottery. My favorite one is still here. Let me show you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Andrea brought me, I think, 15 pieces a couple weeks ago, and we're down to, I think, six or seven pieces. Uh, she just does such a nice job. I'm obsessed with that bunny. It is so cute. And her prices are so reasonable. She prices all of her pottery. I don't mark anything up. This was $42 for this. So pretty. I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> some of the stuff she has holes in them. Some of the stuff she doesn't. Most stuff she does put a hole in the bottom. So if you wanted to use this as an actual vase to hold like a bouquet in, you would have to put a pot inside the pot. Of course, I have only a limited amount of points that is left. This is all I have left. The thing is, is I don't want to bring in too many. If you bring in too many of something, then you have stuff left over and I'm going to be closed for months after this week. So this is my favorite poinsettia. Oh, the red's the most popular, but in my shop, this one seems to sell the most. Okay, I'm gonna head into the atrium and finish cleaning up. It's kind of dirty out there, guys. We've been working out there. I've been making wreaths out there. So let's go clean out the spot because actually the atrium is where Aunt Jan is gonna set up and where I'm gonna be putting the house plants on display. Oh. Look into my eyes. <laughs> um, I'm actually, I'm technically not advertised open, but I did throw the open light on and I turned out my clothes to open. So if somebody does stop by, um, it will interrupt. This is, oh, air compressor thingy. Um, this is what we use to clean out the water lines, all the irrigation. So Brad had it up here by the first greenhouse. I'm gonna move this back to the barn because I don't think we need it again for a while. Ugh. even see them. I'm gonna move the camera down. These are little bells that I bought to put on swags. <laughs> Haven't used any yet. I'm gonna go get my sunglasses because it's bright down here. These are some supplies that I am gonna be using shortly to make the wreaths, but I am consolidating all of the wreath making supplies to over in the corner where the pot filler usually goes. Pot filler is in greenhouse number four still. We do need to bring it in. And then we have like maybe two or three inches of snow still, but it's gonna be 40 degrees and sunny today, like I said. So maybe the snow will all melt and we can move the pot filler. Pot filler has a flat tire. Oh, we'll get there. All right, this stuff over here, let me tilt the camera towards the counter. This stuff, this is all the stuff that Brad was using when he was hooking up the water. Um, and I asked him, I said, do these need to be in any particular box? And he said, nope. So I'm literally just filling boxes and that will be his headache when he's looking for something later. <laughs> but I think we're all set with the water. Oh, this stuff, uh, I need more of. It's um, that crack filler because the other side of this wall has a ton of cracks in it and I need to spray foam it on the outside because you can actually feel 
the cold air coming in down here. It's a no bueno. This is all the water stuff. One of my tables lost a leg. <laughs> That's much better. Oh, those are not very even Steven. Okay, this is where Aunt Jan's gonna set up. There's room for a chair for her. Kinda gotta keep stuff away from this area because there's a heater right there. This is my saran wrap. Or wreath making supplies, which behind the curtain is where those go. Woo! Knocking over stuff. It's just cardboard that needs to go back to the recycling. Um, I might have some vendors coming to drop some stuff off early so dark oh there it goes i sent an email to them letting them know i'm here till six if they'd like to check the space out and drop some stuff off granted i wouldn't have to get ready if i stayed ready but i'm always so busy this is a bin of greens for making wreaths that are not usable for making wreaths and so they have to go in the compost it's literally full. <gasps> I'm fine. Okay, so this is the before for all my vendors. Okay, my friend Jules just dropped off this little display. She's not able to be here tomorrow, but I told her, drop it off anyway. Look how cute. She makes these little flower fairies, ornaments. She makes so many cute little things. My favorite is right, right here. <laughs> but look over here, look how pretty these are. Little mini grape wreaths with some dehydrated fruit, some cinnamon sticks. Ugh. Ooh, toxic. I love it. Anyway, lots of fun stuff. Jules likes to go and forage outside for really fun stuff. She's got these. And then her husband, these are actually seed pods of a plant that he found in the woods. So she thought they kind of looked like little animals. That's a chupacabra. Yeah, those are seed pods that she cut and painted and oh, just really pretty stuff. Okay, I've got a hot cocoa station that's going to go here. This is the rest of Andrea Lee's pottery that I have left. I need to move this so that it doesn't get, um, you know, messed up with the hot cocoa. That pumpkin I'm taking home to my chickens tonight. That's five gallon of paint my mom picked up for me because it was on sale. That needs to go on the floor. Anyway, let's see. Ooh, it's looking really good. Got everything kind of cleaned out in here. Um, so my aunt will be here with her stuff. I will have house plants there, possibly some wreaths hanging up in here. Uh, this this counter I don't want to be here long term. It's it's kind of awkward. But here is the main space where everybody is going to be. Here are the wreaths that I have to decorate. I think it'll be pretty good in here. And honestly, we have the heat turned on because it's so nice and sunny today. It's not kicked on once since I've been here and I've been here for several hours. So the vendors that need a chair to sit in, they're gonna have to be in the front or the back. And uh, anybody who needs electric has to be in the back. And it's a first come first serve about where you're gonna be set up, except for I do know one vendor who told me he did need electric. The only place you can actually put a chair chair to sit down are in, you know, in the back and in the front. Otherwise, in case of an emergency, <laughs> that's spray foam insulation I've had in my pants for over a year. You know, otherwise you can kind of just sit. I don't, I don't invite customers to sit on the tables, but for this case the, with the vendors, I think I could probably make an exception. If they need to sit, they can sit on the thing. I just heard back from my friend who was expecting 
the baby has arrived. However, her husband's still going to come tomorrow. And she might even make an appearance. Okay, things have been moving pretty fast here. I actually had one of the vendors for tomorrow showed up and said, I'm here to help you clean. Thank you, April. She was here for about an hour, sweeping, helping me move the pine. I had, this was all the pine from making the wreaths. She helped me move that all out. So other than the wreaths, which I still have to decorate, we are cleaned out for tomorrow. I had a couple vendors stop by and reserve their spots. Uncle Brian's woodworking and Aunt Nancy are going there. Not my uncle and aunt, but that's the name of their business. Aunt Jan has already been here and she is starting to set up in here. She just ran to go grab another tablecloth. She has all of her really great stuff. I mean, you guys are familiar with all my Aunt Jan stuff. So I've got a couple things to do. I wanna hang another black curtain right there um, and do a little bit more you know, cleaning and then I'm gonna get started with the making of the wreaths. All right, still lots to do. I am in the corner here at my wreath making table. I've cleared it off with mostly everything. I grabbed one of their wreaths that I made the other day from um, the greenhouse. And I'm just gonna use this area right here to decorate it. I'm gonna go, I'm trying to think about what I wanna use. I definitely wanna use the wood flowers. I think that's what I'm gonna start with is make at least one with some wood flowers and then Probably should make another one with my orange, my dry, my dehydrated oranges and the striped uh, bow because I know that's going to be something that people are looking for. Um, so I'm going to go get some of the wood roses and I also have some Ilex, some red hollyberry. I might use that with this one. So it'll be the, the wood roses and some Ilex and then we'll pick out a bow together. I'm thinking maybe because of the red Ilex, I should just pick a red bow, but also I have a burlap bow that's really pretty. Maybe burlap. Okay. I have these, but while I was back there, I grabbed some more stuff. <sighs> okay, not sure what I'm gonna do, but I know I've been using other things on the sticks. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just, I know the approximate length I need these sticks to be, and it's only between three and four inches. And that makes it easy to kind of just dip into the wreath, like so. Okay, so, like so. Oh, oh I love it. Might need three, not sure. You have to think about like, A, what your price point is, how much you're spending for all the supplies. This is just different. This is so different. I'm gonna tuck it in like a magnolia wreath. Oh, that's just cool. Guess I'm gonna go like this. Don't worry, the wooden, <laughs> the wooden flowers are coming. Maybe that pod there. Yeah, maybe this pod here. Here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab these. If you guys missed my last video, I opened, I unboxed all these, uh, showing you guys where I bought all this stuff. Look at this one. Oh, these are wood carved flowers. Basically, just little decorative flowers made out of wood shavings. This one looks like a dandelion. Oh, goodness. This is amazing. Put that one right there. The bow is gonna go here. So I'm gonna put that one there. I'm just gonna add a couple more. Oh wow, that one is so pretty. It's just so pretty. Okay, so I wanna put it maybe here. And I'm gonna reassess after I put everything on and then hang it up. I'm gonna go get the bow that I wanna use and see how big it is. Okay, so I have the options I have here are, this is actually a red burlap bow. Okay, so that's an option. Let me turn it around for you guys so we can see a little bit better. So this is a red burlap with this decoration, which I have to attach still. And now I have, oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner, I think. I think I really like that. Okay, 
Yep, it's the burlap bow. It's huge, it's obnoxious, it wins. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with the burlap bow. Thanks for voting. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get these attached. The bow are, um, the bows already have like a pre-made wire attachment, so that gets wired on. Uh, I'm gonna hot glue, uh, for the most part, everything else. Oh, <laughs> this is good. The combination. I can't stop staring at it. I love it. Okay, one more. Okay, back at the table with some new ingredients. We've got these nesty things. I'm calling them nesty things, official term. We've got some more of the lotus pods and then the cedar roses that are so gorgeous. I've got them in a couple different colors and a gold painted one. I might bring the gold painted one in here on this one. I'm not sure yet. I might bring some pine cones. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure. We've got also the cedar, um, shaved ones i might bring in some of these as well so let's go ahead and place all right guys i'm going to show off my new tool because <laughs> those these are hard to cut with my little clippers so there's a safety on this <laughs> watch your fingers people <laughs> okay i like it watch your fingers everyone Holy guacamole, ready? Back up. Oop, this one. Shutting it off. No, it actually does have a really good safety. So you have to squeeze this and this in order to get that to go. It's one of them there DeWalt tools. This one's getting a special ingredient. Right there. Brad put a hook on the wall so that I could um, glue this stuff on while it's on the wall because it's easier to kind of gauge how it's going to sit when it's not laying down. <laughs> how it's going to hang when it's actually hanging. Glue gun is hot. I remember my order of things. Do I remember my order of things? Yes, brown first. <laughs> yes. Ooh, glue gun is hot. Uh, I need a new glue stick. Cedar rose right there. Oh, I like it. I like it. Pity pod. Pity pod. Pity pod. It's my last name. It's a pity pod. Pity potty. Mother of God! <laughs> Burn myself. I know. Feels it good, fell on it. me. Feels good, don't it? Maybe, maybe it's better to do it on the table. Instead of it dripping down on me. It hurts. It hurts a little bit. I think the first layer of my skin came off. Over it. Doesn't hurt anymore. Okay. Red. Cedar rose. Didn't burn myself. <laughs> okay. Nest. Oh, yes. Oh. That just brings the whole thing together, in my humble opinion. <laughs> Top to bottom. All right, the red doesn't pop as much as I wanted it to, but it is what it is, it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm warming up my coffee in the microwave because it got cold. I have, I've been dying to use this orange ribbon 
Um, so much I bought these <laughs> sparkly orange balls because it's glitz and glam. So this is a little bit of a different style because not everyone wants the, that's my coffee, it's ready. Not everyone wants the au natural botanical style. Some people like the sparkly bits. So I'm gonna make a wreath right now with the orange, the sparkles, and maybe some pine cones and maybe some magnolia leaves. Not sure yet what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna attach. Um, and with the, these, I'm gonna use wire instead of hot glue um, because I don't really wanna hot glue the balls in. Uh, Brianna is actually here right now. And she's making some other, I fell on the floor, that's why I only buy the Unbreakables. Um, she's making the centerpieces, so I'll take the camera out there in a little bit. La, 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 la. Okay, Bee's out here making some amazing centerpieces. Look, look at the glitz. Look at the glitz and the glamour. Wow. I love that one. I like gold, I think, a lot. Let's look at these ones. These are a more traditional Christmas hue. One with a velvet and one with a burlap and then the pine cones. And the white candles for next year. Oh, oh, I love the cedar rose in it. That looks so good. Does it look good? I'm gonna add a second one in there. Um, was that okay to cut? I think so. It was then, so hard for me to cut yesterday. Oh, the one I had was already cut small, so. Do you want me to get the heavy duty tool out? I just need the to, DeWalt battery. Like It's very Terminator-like. It's just reminding me of like, a, it's like a deadly weapon. thought is like scary movie. Like someone's chasing you at the tree farm and you're like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah. Not a Hallmark movie. It's not a Hallmark movie. Not it is Hallmark. terrifying. Oh. Yes. Isn't that cool? I mean, you gotta grow up from a seed and it takes 15, 10 to 15 years for it to be a full bonsai tree. I'll be dead. Shut up. She's done. I love oh, it. Okay. Look. No, Over here, it's Christmas out there. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, it's getting late. It's dark out. Um, this entire space is going to be filled with vendors in the morning. I will do as much uh, videotaping as I can to bring you guys some of the sights and sounds of the holiday pop up here at the Boone Street Nursery. My eyes are dry. My contacts are popping out. I'm just going to button up a couple of things and then go home, and I'll be back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. to get the hot cocoa going. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Kissing ball, kissing ball. I love it. <laughs> and I just did a buffalo plaid wreath. Aunt Jan's ornaments ready for sale. And the rest of her table stuff is all set up right here. And she's got another tree right here, this cute little tree with some of her, oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how long these ones take her. Those are all handwritten by Aunt Jan herself. And she paints all these beautiful. These will remain a mystery until tomorrow. But these are tic-tac-toe sets that she hand paints. <laughs>